Welcome back to Cup Check, everybody. I'm here with part two of our top 100 uh, MLB prospects reaction video. Back here again with Trent Moore. The first one did so well. Trent decided to come right on back for another video. Trent, how are you feeling today? I'm good. It's been a good last two minutes. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. All right. So let's get into today's video. So starting where we left off, uh, 51. I like that guy, and you're the no, one. No, I do too. I, I want to say here, Dawson is the one that pointed him out to me last year as he was kind of taking off. So props to the yeah. – Can leader. we take a quick look at the scouting grade here? Uh, I'm interested to see. It's not as if this man, If this man doesn't have 80-grade power, I don't know who will. I, I mean, it's not as crazy as you think, but yeah, – I mean, 60-grade power, power yeah. It was 60 crazy. grade power is a little bit disrespectful considering they're handing out 60 grade power to people who hit way less home runs. But look at that 41 home runs from Melendez. I'm pretty sure he's already hit one this spring as well. Um, just an electric player who knows how to hit the ball out of the park and potentially a really exciting Royals team coming up. Uh, obviously, a guy who struggles a little bit with the hit tool in terms of average and strikeouts. But I mean, Joey Gallo is able to make a career for himself, so so will MJ Melendez. So moving down the list, um, obviously our Austin Martin got traded. I don't ever. I mean, he's just a hitter. I don't think. Yeah, I think he's like a slightly worse. Um, crap, I'm blanking. Who's the Reds? Reds guy got rookie of the year. <laughs> rookie of the year. Um, I know Nick Senzel got was a rookie. No, no, no this last year. Oh, Jonathan um, India. Yeah, I think he's a slightly worse Jonathan India. Uh, just yeah, kind of no, uh, swag, the average, like, but maybe not the power. I, I like Quinn Priester, and I think he's gotten pooped on by a lot of the national press. And he's just been – he fits the Garrett – he literally just embodies exactly like the Garrett Cole track, right? So it started off with the Pirates, kind of had some wish-wash, and then, you know, kind of had some – High hope at the start, diminished a little bit, and then boom, $300 million man for the New York Yankees. Yeah, I mean, uh, I I have a little bit of a love-hate relationship with Quinn, Quinn Priester. I remember being a junior in high school in math class, looking at the PBR rankings and seeing his name, like, too higher than mine. So, obviously, a little salty about how things have turned out for me and Quinn. Obviously, I'm still trying to get to that level. But I always think I'm better than him. And we won state and his team did not. And uh, yeah, so Quinn was ranked like the number one pitcher in our class. And I was like somewhere around 10. So probably not too ahead of me, but maybe two, two ahead in terms of right hand pitchers. But yeah, Quinn Priester is pretty impressive. Um, just really electric stuff and just a solid competitor on the mound. Moving down to 56, this is a guy who I've tried to get turned on a little bit. I've watched yeah. the video. I've looked at the stats. This is a guy I've seen all the way up in the top 20 on some people's lists. Tyler Soderstrom is very exciting, and I don't think he's a catcher, um, you know, especially with the A's just making this trade for, um, for Olsen. They ended up getting a catcher from the Braves. So I think maybe yeah. if that guy is like part of their plan, uh, that could move Soderstrom to first. I think he profiles more as a first baseman, but uh, can we take a quick peek at his stats? Because I remember, remember them being really solid. Yeah, 60, 60 hit, 55 power. I mean, that's yeah, just a solid, just, solid man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All, all your year for him. him. Uh, uh, guy, guy to keep an eye on for sure, sure. especially in the dynasty. You know, looking at this, though, I see. Sorry, sorry. Mike, okay? Uh-uh. My mic okay? Yeah, yeah, you're fine. Uh, I see Bobby Miller is a little high on that. Um, you know, I think you can obviously flip him and the big bad Jason Dominguez. Uh, and then Michael Harris, he's also one I've heard a lot about just as far as his speed is concerned. I mean, I just want to see. He is, uh, yeah, 60, yeah. So 27 base, yeah, he's... He's a guy who hits the ball and runs. So, but I think that actually, you know, I'm going to be honest. I kind of think it's pretty weak between 
55 and 70. Yeah, 55 and 70. I don't see anybody think, here. Real quick, uh, I want to touch on Luis Matos real quick because this is a guy who, um, if the power continues to develop, we're looking at like the early makings of, I mean, honestly, if you do a side-by-side -side comparison of his start of his career and Mookie Betts uh, minor leagues, this is a guy who profiles very similar in yeah. terms of average strikeout rate, power, et cetera. It also helps that he has the exact same specs. Exactly. Um, so, yeah, just a mini Mookie Betts, probably going to profile to be like a really solid, like 280, 300 hitter with like 15 to 20 homers. But, you know, if he ever figures out the home run stuff, uh, that could be a guy to watch out for, for sure. Um, another one I want to hear what you think of real quick, uh, Trent Sixto Sanchez at 58. I don't – I okay, to be honest with you, I'm shocked that he was still on the prospect list because – That's true. I thought he qualified to get off, but, dude, he, he did well in the majors. And, I mean, that's just kind of – I don't necessarily agree with it, but I also don't necessarily disagree with it. So, I think you could go one way or another, but I don't think he's any lower than 58. Yeah. Um, Trent, what do you think of uh, your man at number 69, J.J. Blade? That's why I highlighted him. Uh, I know he packed on – 15, 20 pounds of muscle over the off season, and it was lean muscle. So impressive. And I've heard he's been looking good, uh, at least in off site training. Um, but you know, he fell pretty far. Uh, I like him. I don't want to say he's going to turn out to be some great ball player, but I think he's a good buy low, and I think you can get him. He's, I think he's going to compete for a spot. And I think you can get him for pretty cheap in a dynasty league. So, you know, it's up to you. But I, I kind of like him as a buy low. But. And I'll touch on uh, Andy Podge's pages, Page. whatever you want to call it real quick. Uh, dude just has insane power. Uh, he really tore up A ball. I think it was A or A plus ball. Um, it, it's just, I mean, just another guy like Melendez. We're going to have to see how the, the hit tool plays out in terms of, like, average and all that. But – a guy who um, might be on a fast track to having a much bigger name. And yeah, the definitely. Years. I agree with that. Yeah. Uh, let's move down, look at the last 30 real quick. And uh, Sal Freelick. Yeah, you can skip him. Ron Contreras. <laughs> Hard oh, look. how Jared Duran has fallen. <laughs> yeah, for All real. Away from a top 20, 30 guy. Um, Whoa. Um, what? I a name that screams off the board immediately is number 82 and even 81. I think 81 Mick Abel profiles as a top two guy, but you know, I'm going to go with the guy who actually has had success and health in Emerson Hancock. And that's shocking. I mean, he's got, hey, look, he's got 60 grade fast, probably six, four lean. So development wise, I mean, 2021. Yeah. Two, six, two ERA and 45 innings. Like, yeah, I mean, that's just as impressive as anyone uh, on this list, honestly. I like him. Um, I, I really do like him. And to yeah. be honest with you, between him and George Kirby, Seattle, and even Logan Gilbert, Seattle is going to be have a nice three coming up. So, I do uh, I do want to touch on 80 very briefly. I think Groshans uh, is a guy you brought up a little bit. I mm -hmm. think that he might have been one of the key reasons that um, Toronto didn't pay up for Marcus Simeon. Uh, because I think Groshans is going to be able to slide into that second base role as they wait for or Relvis and kind of see what happens with him. Uh, just a solid. And I also think that's another reason why they let go of um, what's his name to the twins, Austin Martin. Yeah. Um, I mean, he fell from 55 on this list last year to 80 now. And that's big. That's a big share of just his, power as output and in-game power you know he's always had the hit tool i mean look at his opp yeah you know high average guy but he hasn't had double digit home runs yet in the major so yeah, in, uh, if you're not gonna have double digit homers you better be stealing a lot of bases that's something gross yeah. is not doing so yeah so, so i, I think but the thing is he's he it's there for him right he's six yeah, three yeah and so yeah but i think i honestly think he's used as trade bait 
and I think he develops well in another organization, but um, yeah, I agree there. So uh, moving on to the last 20 here. Oh, here we um, go. <laughs> okay, let me see. This is where I'm starting to get a little fuzzy because I haven't studied everyone down here. Um, I do so see I know. a few names that are really uh, shouting out. Mackenzie Gore being a guy who's fallen all the way from the top 10. Top to three. He was yeah, number three. three. Um, and then two other guys, eh, three guys I actually like on here as well. Um, I do hear very good things about Harry Ford um, mm -hmm. with the Mariners, Definitely. but 2025, so not really a guy who you should even consider in your dynasty league yet, unless you're really, really deep. The deep, yeah. Uh, Jose Miranda, pretty impressive yeah. guy. I think he could be an impact on the Twins. But um, the guy who I like the most on this little, like, last part of the list, Christian Hernandez, uh, a guy who I think – has the talent and the tools to be a top 30, top uh, 40, I don't know, top 30, top 20 guy. Honestly, I think he's really talented and I think he's going to be much higher on this list next year, this time. So I, <laughs> see two, I see three guys who I, I'm a big, I would just say, I would stamp my name next to them and say, go and get them. Not no matter what it takes, but I would push the, the, your own personal limits. I see Gore. I mean, he's been phenomenal this spring and just shown exactly what we all thought. Um, so that's an easy one. D.L. Hall is my other guy. He's just as good as Grayson Rodriguez. So think about that statement for a second. The big, issue yeah. there is innings and health. So that's a big question, obviously, but you'll have that with every pitcher, right? So take take the talent, worry about the health later. Uh, and then obviously it's pretty easy for me to say, but Jose Miranda changed his swing, worked out. I think the Twins are going to try and get him a shot to play next to Correa on one side or the other. So uh, hmm. that's that's a big thing for me. But Do you know much about uh, Hernandez or Ford? Because uh, I'm pretty sure Hernandez – has really he had signed, right? He wasn't a draft pick. Uh, he actually has some yeah. at-bats already, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he, um, he signed. So let's see what he did. Um, I mean, that's that's good. 398 and he's, what, 18? I mean, yeah, yeah, just turned 18 this offseason. Like, he was 17 at the time. So that's, that's yeah, pretty that's impressive. That's what I'm saying. Like, he's just a deep sleeper, a really young guy. Uh, his sports cards are already ticking up. Uh, but Harry Ford is also in yeah, that range as well. I mean, whenever you see an 18-year-old hitting 300 with a few homers, uh, that's definitely something to keep an eye on. So, yeah. Oh. So yeah, that's going to do it for our uh, second part of reacting to the top 100. Uh, thanks again, Trent, for popping out. Uh, be sure to blow this one up if you enjoyed and want Trent to continue and make videos with us. Thank you all for watching. Have a good one. Peace.